Hey guys, it's Friday and I thought I would uh, I thought I'd put a meditation out there just for like that end of week wind down and uh, relax the mind a little bit. I know I could do a little bit of meditation and I thought, you know what? I'm going to uh, put the camera on and maybe share it. So uh, just get yourself comfortable. I'm actually sitting on a on a cushion called a Zofu, which is a uh, I hope I'm saying that right, but it's a small, it's a pillow that sits up round and it, and it gets you off the ground to where you can cross your legs pretty easily. <clears throat> and then I move it forward to where I can sit straight and then just rest your hands on your, on your legs. I like to bring my hands up and I do gang mudra, which is, which is to me, it's the circulation of energy. Um, I always, I always do it. And, uh, or sometimes palms up, just palms up. Sometimes in your lap, if you do this and just rest them and you, and you know, you can let your, you can let your shoulders just sit, right? There's no, there's no overthinking this, just allow the shoulders just to sit. So if you can sit up straight, if you're back, if you've got any back issues, use the back of a chair. If you haven't, if you can sit, uh, you know, get your back off the back of the chair a little bit so you can sit up straight. Dip your chin down slightly, which we call chin tuck, um, where you gaze, if you gaze outwards and downwards slightly um, and bring your chin down, it will release the tension in the back of your neck. Um, and you can you can sit there like that for quite a while. Um, when you when you overemphasize or try and do this or anything else, um, you're going to put that pressure on the back of that neck and it's going to start aching. So just uh, just tuck the chin down or just a touch and you'll feel that pressure come off the come off the back of the neck so just sit close your eyes just sit up nice and proud nice straight back you can lay on the floor if you want to lay on the floor it's not a problem but make sure you're comfortable if you need blankets or pillows or anything like that it's not a problem don't overthink this guys Yes, meditation can be one of those things that is simple to do, but actually people overthink it to the point where they believe it's difficult to do. And all you've got to do is just breathe, really. It's just concentrating on your breath, bringing the mind to the breath, which is called the anchor. There's many ways you can anchor the mind, but I always teach my guys right from the very beginning. Anchor to the breath, you've always got it. And your mind's gonna think, guys, so you, you're not gonna get away from thinking. So the thing to do, and this is what this is what people do in meditation, they think that you've got to stop your thinking. No, no, no. No, this is that's totally against what it's all about. It's it's about seeing the thinking and not reacting to that thinking. So you're allowed to see it. You're allowed to be aware of it. You're allowed to maybe even feel it, but just don't react. And just let it go by. If you don't, if you don't react to it, then your emotion won't become part of that. You can just let it, let it go by. And bring yourself back to breath. Don't beat yourself up. Don't call yourself any names, self any names or anything like that. Because then you're telling the mind that. Just tell yourself I'm thinking. And then come back to the breath. And just become aware of that breath now. You may hear outside noises. It's totally fine. It's okay. Meditation doesn't have to be done in silence. In fact, as you get better at it, you'll be able to do it anywhere. So just concentrate on that breathing, guys. Slowing it down, being aware of the breath going in through the nose. Do all the breath through the nose. Unless you can't, it's okay through the mouth if you, you've got sinus issues or anything like that. But if you can breathe through the nose, breathe through the nose and become aware of that air going into the nose.
just tuning in, tuning into that air, tuning into the body, the movements of the body, the subtle movements of the body as you breathe in. And as you release too, just becoming aware of the rhythm of the breath. Slowing that rhythm down. Extending that breath in a little bit more. And releasing that air nice and slowly, longer than the breath in if you can. Just keep that breath. There's no rush. Just relax the body. No rush. End of the week. Friday. Time to let it all go. It doesn't matter anymore. You're right there. Tuning in. And then start bringing that attention to the nostrils. Become aware of the nostrils and air moving right over that top lip into the nostrils if you pick a pinhead spot right there just above that top lip and below the nostrils in there i don't know there's a name for it i know but in that little crevice area there just the little pinhead area right in the middle just bring your attention to there with the breath moving over that spot Breath coming over that little ridge on the top lip. Cooling it down. And then that air moving into that little area where that pinhead spot is. And then up into the nostrils. The coolness going up into the sinuses. You may feel a coolness behind the eyes as it goes up into your sinuses. Just become aware of the air, the movement down into the back of the throat, cold in the back of the throat. You may even feel right in the back of the tongue cooling And then down into the lungs. Nitric oxide is added in the nose as you breathe through the nose, which allows the blood vessels to relax, which allows blood flow way better once those blood vessels are relaxed. Moisture is added. Warmth is added. All the elements necessary to make that breath go smoothly into your system to be used to keep you alive. Make every breath count. We take it for granted until it's not there. So become aware of the breath. The more you become aware of the breath, the more present you become. Every single breath is different. 
and start bringing in your week, how your week's been. It may have gone really well, but then it may not. There's always good and the bad, the rough with the smooth, but is it good? Is it bad? It just is. It's what our mind tells us. It may tell us that it's bad, but someone else may not look at it as bad. It's perception. Knowing to let go with the things that you cannot control. All that news that people watch. I don't even watch the news now. I do now and again, but let it go. All that overwhelm. Annoyances. People in general. Traffic. Things within the family. Maybe an argument happened. But none of it is worth it. It's all in the past. Those things that we could have done something about probably did. And if we didn't, that's okay too. It just is. So just allow, tune in, slow that breathing down guys and just release anything that's been bothering you this week, anything that's you didn't think you may get through, just be aware of the, the wins throughout the week. Where was you winning? Even if that means you got your feet on the ground and got out of bed because your mind was telling you, uh-uh. That's a win. So where have you been winning? Start to focus on where you've been winning. Maybe you met somebody. Maybe you got some great information. Maybe you learned something. Every day there's those things that come up that we pay no attention to because we pay so much more attention to the negatives that's going on and don't release what we cannot control. Just release it, let it go. Think about the winning. Make it bigger. Where have your wins been? Be proud of yourself. Take a nice deep breath in. Push that chest out. Pause at the top. Suspend that breath. And then just release it out. Let it go. Be proud of yourself. Stand up straight. See yourself standing. Proud. Focus on the winds. Nice deep breath in again. Suspend at the top. And release any negative energy that happened in the week that does not matter. Let it go down through the body and out. Let the universe take care of it. And then as you breathe in on this breath, pulling all those winds. Bring them to mind. Suspend the breath. Release all that negative energy, all that people that you may have met that you just, ah, just the energy was off. Just release all that, let it go. And the next breath in. 
Think about the winds, suspend the breath. And release the breath and let anything go. Just let it go, release it. It's not even worth it. It doesn't matter anymore. It's all gone. It's in the past. Things you can't control. Things that may have happened. Let it go. Those little annoyances that get in the way of our day sometimes. Getting cut up in traffic someone pushing in line you know what maybe they're having a bad day maybe they didn't mean to maybe they didn't see you thank god you saw them no point in shouting to people no point in wishing this and wishing that it just is they may be in trouble somewhere they may have got some bad news who knows Pity them, send them love, and move on. It's not about you. Let it go. Let that breath go, guys. And then pull that energy in on this breath in. Feels good. Let it go. Let those shoulders hang, let that body go, feel that body just sink, feeling comfortable, light, positive, PMA. Positive mental attitude. Positive mental attitude. Think about that. Where do you want to be? In the PMA? Or in the week that's gone? It's your choice. Another nice deep breath in. Pull in that PMA, suspend the breath. And release it out. PMA, I got that off of John Joseph. Go and check him out. He's got a channel out there. I'm just becoming aware of the breath. Aware of the body. Would be aware of the body and how it feels right now. Become aware of anything that you may be feeling within the body. You may be feeling some emotions. You may be feeling some tingling, pulsing. It's okay. If you're alive, your energy. So let that week go and get ready for that weekend coming. Don't allow things to steal your joy. Keep the PMA, keep the joy. Plan the joy. Don't work on the negatives. Move towards the positives. They're right there. And in a moment, I'll count from one to three and bring you up out of the meditation. Just go in a little bit more relaxed. On one, just becoming aware of the room that you're in. Two, becoming aware of the body and your surroundings and where your space is. Wiggle those fingers and toes. Maybe do some neck rotations. Roll the eyes around in the sockets. Feel them floating in the sockets. Nice and relaxed, feeling more relaxed now. And three, just slowly blink those eyes open. Fully back, fully relaxed. 
I hope that helps. Use this, guys, um, especially on your Friday, seeing as I aimed it towards the Friday. I hope it helps. Have a blessed day. Positive energy to everybody. Much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, thank you for showing up for you. Namaste.